Hi, welcome back. This is Rick. Uh, this is a new script I've just finished. It's uh, an advanced script that allows you to sit down with your team, uh, create impromptu briefings at uh, FOBs and so on. It works in single player, multiplayer, dedicated and listened servers. So I'll give you a quick demo of what it can do. So I've got a, a group here. Pre-arranged seats in the editor and uh, I set down a game master so I can use um, Zeus as well. Alright, so we are, this is in single player. So here I am, I've got a group of players on my side, some pre-arranged chairs. These are the supported chair classes uh, within Cup and all the DLCs and uh, Vanilla Armor. Uh, there are certain chairs that are not suitable for for players to sit down and the reason for that is that they either have collision issues or they have model issues or they are um, not the right height. Uh, obviously the height for based on the standard sitting animation is the distance from the foot to the knee and um, that animation normally places them at a, at a fixed height which luckily all these chairs are. So these are the supported chairs. The default chair would be this one. You can change the default in the script uh, should you want to. Um, to start the script, it's really simple. You just simply run a line in your init.sqf and put a, put a line in your on player respawn. Instructions are at the top of the script header. So when you come in range of any of these types of chairs, no matter where you are on the map, you'll get an option to sit down. Once you're sitting, if you happen to have AI in your group, um, then you get an option to get the NPCs to sit down, which you can see they did. So they will just sit there um, and pad, and basically pad if you've got a lot of extra chairs, you can, uh, you have to have the right number of chairs, by the way, for AI to sit down. Um, and when you stand up, then they obviously stand up. And this is for the team leader. Um, but um, if it's a multiplayer game, obviously you would have the same option to sit down and stand up but you wouldn't be able to control the AI sitting. But let's say you wanted to create a quick briefing section over here. Maybe you're in Liberation and you've just created a FOB and you want to put down some chairs and have a quick briefing. So um, this team leader gets the option to create chairs. So I'll place a chair, place a chair, another chair. Okay. Best not to place the chairs too close together because uh, you sometimes find that if players exit the same in the same direction they might collide with each other and knock the chairs over and all that. If you do knock a chair over the script automatically detects if the chair is um, set in a vertical position. If not, it will automatically reset the chair in the direction that you're looking. Um, you get the option to remove chairs. Uh, if you place a chair in the wrong di direction or rank wrong position accidentally, you can just walk up and delete it. So let's carry on creating my chairs. I'll just create 12 chairs because it just happens that my squad is 11 in total. You can create as many as you want. Okay, so now I'll go and sit down. Get my AI to sit down with me. And listen to the briefing. Stand up. Some chairs are, I mean, this is like a really crappy chair. Um, looks like it's been run over by a truck, but it still, it still works. Um, the same thing 
applies with this particular chair. Some of these chairs have uh, orientation errors, um, and so the script takes care of that. It checks the type of chair it is, checks the offset requirements in terms of player position uh, relative to the chair. It doesn't attach you to the chair. Um, the only potential negative is if people want to be really stupid, they can rotate in the chair. I can try and force force um, force that, but you know, if people, I think it's maybe better to be able to look around um, uh, and move than than being locked into position on the seat, uh, which kind of is a bit limiting. Uh, and if people that you know misbehave, you can always just discipline them. Um, so that's basically what it does. Very simple, very useful, and could be applied to any mission, single player, multiplayer, and so on. Um, and uh, it's great for also for, you know, obviously for persistent missions, but if you've got complex, uh, or if you've got briefing requirements and you want to create like uh, little briefing rooms and maybe on the, you know, on an aircraft carrier or wherever, then uh, you can do that. And you can obviously delete the chairs and reposition them um, and so on. Um, so as I said, this is in the, the 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 instructions are in the script header. If you want this script for your missions, um, then uh, you're going to have to jump through a few hoops. And I'm sorry about that. It's just to stop the spamming on uh, Steam Workshop. Um, you basically need to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like this mission, I'd appreciate you giving me a like because it does help me. Um, and then uh, send me a friend request on Steam. And then you have access to all my scripts and all my missions. You also have access to uh, some free script uh, writing help. Um, I do a lot of help. I give quite a number of people uh, help with scripts, writing scripts. I do custom scripts writing, script writing for them. Um, and also, if you just need uh, some help uh, implementing my scripts, that's fine. Um, so. There we are, and I really appreciate you watching, and uh, see you next time. Cheers. If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it, so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.